Sometimes in our application, we want to have separate design or we want to change the behavior of our app depending on the authentication, for instance, if we are logged in or logged out. For that, we can use what we call layouts. And of course, Next.js helps us to deal with layouts. So right now I got my main page and if I get back, I just got this page here, index.view that is created and it's totally empty. And let's say that I want to create first a default layout for this page. What I'm going to do is first, I'm going to create a layouts folder. Inside this layout, I'm going to create by default, default.view. Default.view, it's going to be the layout by default. And we will see later that in our page, we will be able to declare what layout we want to use depending on uh, the situation, depending on what layout you want to display actually. So here I'm going to create a template. And in this template, I'm just going to create a first div. And this div is going to be class and I'm going to call that default layout this way, okay? Just for the example. Then what I'm going to write is just a P and I'm going to type default layout. So we will see that we are in the default layout. What I need to do now is to specify that here I want to put the data, I want to put the pages, I want to just display the current vision on uh, what I want to display. So I need to use the built-in component slot. Slot here we receive actually our page which is index.there. So once I have done this, let's get back to my app, let's refresh. And there we go, we see that without um, writing anything on my index.view, I got this default layout that is display. And if I open my um, uh, here, my elements there, my console, I got the default layout that is applied. And we see that the page is a child of the default layout, all right? So we created our first layout. And if I apply some class, like for instance, text white BG uh, slate 900 and H screen for this one, we will see that my style will be applied on the whole layout. So on all the children down there. So to create a layout, you use a slot. All right. Now let's try to create another layout, which will be a custom one. So here in layout, I type custom.view. And actually what I can do is just copy pasting this custom layout. And instead I'm going to call it custom layout. And here it's going to be custom layout. Again, we need the built-in component slot in order to display the content we want to display. So now I've got this, I want to create another page because default is for all the pages that are not uh, asking for any other layout. But now I'm going to create another page. And let's say that this one will be, for instance, custom.view, exactly the same name as the layout, but you're not obliged. It could be events or whatever. Okay. So now we said this, we have to create our page. So I'm just going to grab this one. It's going to be custom page. And here I'm going to type custom page. All right. The thing is now, if I go on slash custom, so with my router, you know that it generated the root. If I go on slash custom, what is going to happen? Well, on the custom page, I got my default layout. And this is normal because I didn't specify any layout to use. When you want to specify a layout to use, in your script here, you are going to say that you want to use this layout on this custom page, all right? So what you need to use as a method is the define page meta. Define page meta is a function available everywhere in your Nuxt application that you can call to specify uh, some uh, uh, parameters because it's an object that is taken as a parameter. And here I'm going to use layout. And in there, I'm going to use the name of the layout that I'm going to use. So you understood now that I want to use custom. Okay, I specified here on the custom.view page that I want to use the custom layout. Now I'm going to close all of this and just open here my custom.view. Now let's get back to the page and let's see if we get our custom layout. So when I get back, I got finally my custom layout. So back in the layout, I'm going to change the, just the color. Let's say that we were gonna have a background blue. 
There we go, I got a background blue. Now I'm going to get back on the main page and we see now that I switch from a layout to another one. So if I get back to custom, there we go, we've got another layout. So you understand now that we can use this layouts folder and we can create new layout inside this folder. They will be automatically registered with their name. And after in the pages, you will be able to call this layout through the define page meta method.